Welcome back to the Red Carpet Reup. Today, we're diving into the latest drama surrounding hip hop mogul Rick Ross and his ex partner, Tia Kemp. It seems like these two can't catch a break from the headlines, especially when it comes to child support payments and some fiery social media exchanges. Stick around as we break down the story and give you all the details you need to know. Recently, Rick Ross took to Instagram to announce a significant milestone in his life, his final child support payment to Tia Kemp. With a smile, he pondered whether he'd rather celebrate Father's Day or this momentous occasion. He dubbed it Divine Divinity. Hey, God is great. It's June 15th. This is what I want to know. What would you rather celebrate? Father's Day or the date of your last child support payment? Or what if your last child support payment was on Father's Day weekend? That's what you call divine divinity. Adding a touch of humor to the situation, not one to stay silent, Tia Kemp fired back swiftly. She dismissed Ross's payments as inconsequential to her lifestyle, even suggesting she could seek more if needed. Her response was laced with strong language and a defiant tone, asserting her financial independence and dismissing Ross's influence. That's a good one. See, that's when the bitch was his regular self did. Listen here, bitch, every day I'm fucking hustling. I heard you was over there talking about you. The, the best Father's Day gift you could have got was you sending your last child support payment, payment or something, bitch. <laughs> you stupid, silly mother. Who the give a fuck about your child support payments, bitch? And if I want some more, I take my ass over to family court and get some while he going to college. Bitch, you ain't worthy for me sitting in the system and going back and forth to court to drag your big fat funky old zippy taking ass down for a little something, bitch. I'm making that shit per show. You didn't know? Are we up now, bitch? What are you gonna do now? Stupid mother I could pay for college out of pocket now, you dumb fat bitch. Alexa! Cut that bitch off now, I'm talking. Get that bitch out my house. <laughs> Listen here, you fat bitch. Let me tell you something, you fat funky mother. You gotta worry about them eight or nine you over there you got that you gonna be paying child support for till you're about 70, you stupid old. You should have clipped your back then when you was talking about it and you was telling me about it, but I guess you got scared, didn't you? <laughs> you dumb funky bitch. I'm so glad mine's the last in the this and he gonna go do what he gotta do and be a young man so bitch i could go be a whole ho because you kept me back a long time i ain't know i could get this much these much and bitches in life mother bitch you did me a favor i tried to let you have your dusty daddy day yesterday i didn't even come on there i did it on purpose i made mother big beef back ribs for my motherfucking sons that's good fathers bitch and llama beans, so the shit that you love to motherfucking eat, bitch, and you wasn't worthy of getting one motherfucking bean out the motherfucking pot. I heard you had some shit on your story about me, bitch. You run it over here. Unblock me. Please, you fat, funky fuckers. You done blowed your ass back up because everybody know I told I told the world I found them needles in your motherfucking refrigerator. So obviously it wasn't diabetes medicine. It was Ozempi. Now I look like your fat ass done gained all that weight back because you would slide across that stage looking like the shit poop. This isn't the first time tensions have flared between the former couple. Earlier this year, Rick Ross's lyrics in Future and Metro Boomin's track sparked controversy. Kemp interpreted them as directed towards her prompting her to address Ross directly on social media. She expressed frustration over being referenced in his music over the years, highlighting a long-standing issue between them. Let's take a closer look at Rick Ross's Instagram post and Tia Kemp's response to get a better understanding of their perspectives. Here, Ross's celebration of the final payment and Kemp's blunt dismissal paint a vivid picture of their ongoing conflict. It's a reminder that even public figures face personal and sometimes contentious issues, which can play out very publicly. And there you have it, the latest chapter in the ongoing saga between Rick Ross and Tia Kemp. What started as a celebratory post turned into a heated exchange, showcasing the complexities of co-parenting and financial responsibilities in the public eye. As always, we'll keep you updated on any developments 
Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more exclusive content from the Red Carpet Rio. Thank you for watching. And until next time, stay tuned and stay informed.